Welcome back. It's Monday. Time for Law 101. And I'm Rob Levine from Rob Levine and Associates. So today we're going to talk about attacking the insurance company and why you shouldn't listen to them. So the slogan you're going to remember from today is the quick fix isn't always the right fix. So what do I mean by that? So we're really going to focus on motor vehicle accidents, but this could happen in any type of case. So what happens when you get in a car accident? Well, you exchange information with the defendant or a police report is written, which has all of your information. What's the very next thing that happens. The insurance company for the defendant, the at-fault party calls you and they take your statement recording it to find out if you're injured, whether you're treating, and they want to come out and appraise your vehicle and they want to settle your claim. Now, in other states in this country, there's a moratorium, a period of time where the insurance company is not allowed to settle your claim or reach out to you for a period of time maybe 30 days. Lawyers could never reach out to you directly. It's called an in-person solicitation. And I can't call you to talk to you about your injuries. You have to reach out to me. But because the insurance company doesn't have an attorney calling you, they have a claims adjuster, they can call you and actually issue you a check on the day after your accident. So what's wrong with that? Well, first of all, we know that medically speaking, sometimes it can take up to 72, even 96 hours before you really understand the full extent of your injuries. So if you're resolving your case the next day, all of your swelling and pain and everything that's happening within your body might not have fully developed itself. You might not have even been to the doctor yet. So what's the important lesson to learn? Slow down. Tell the insurance company, yes, I was in a motor vehicle accident. Yes, you can inspect my vehicle and appraise it. Yes, I was injured and no, I'm not ready to settle my injury claim yet. I need to see a doctor. I need to follow up and I need to see how I'm doing. And once you know with certainty what your medical condition is, then you can make an informed decision. As an example, I'm going to tell you a story that happened to one of our clients. A woman was involved in a motor vehicle accident. The insurance company, in this case was Progressive, contacted her a few days after the accident. The woman, the injured party, was Latino. Spanish speaking only, spoke no English. The insurance company appraised her vehicle and gave her a check. On the stub of the check, it said in full and final settlement. And they gave her $350 for the damage to her vehicle, which granted was minor damage and her bodily injury claim. What we know is that at the time they gave her the check, she was actually treating with a doctor. And she told the insurance company, which is what she told us, that she told them she was treating with a doctor. And they gave her the check anyway. And they assumed her claim was settled. She came to me a few weeks later, and she was still treating with a doctor, and we pursued her claim. We contacted Progressive and put them on notice, letting them know that we represented her. Never did they say, oh, we settled that claim. Her process went through, Six months later, we sent a demand letter. The demand letter was sent for $20,000. Her claim was worth roughly $10,000. At that time, the insurance company says, oh, that claim is settled. We settled it a week after the accident for $350. I said, well, send me a copy of the release. Well, we don't have a release. Well, send me proof that you settled it. They sent me the copy of the check stub that said in full and final settlement of all claims. Our position was under the law that absolutely doesn't count and is not valid and was void. Progressive gave in and settled her claim with us. But you might not be so lucky. So remember, the quick fix isn't the right fix. Tell the insurance company, I'm injured, and wait. Seek treatment, talk to a lawyer, know your rights before you settle your claim. Thanks for listening. I know it's a lot of information, but it's information you need to know. Like us, follow us, and share us on Facebook. Thanks, and have a great day. We'll see you next Monday.